Happy Benetton, hey! Happy Benetton! Woo! <laughs> right here, cameraman and that. Oh, are we allowed through? Oh. Oh. We need you to unleash your chaos. Chaos magic. I ain't got none, man. I'm sorry. I'd help. Everyone man. has chaos. Oh, okay. I get it, right? Woo. Woo. She stuck it on me. She stuck it on me. It's mad, it's mad, it's mad. Secret passages and that. <laughs> Woo! Smokey! <laughs> Smokey! Jeez! Okay, oh. <laughs> you must deserve a medallion for bravery. You're not going to get one of these. And I've even put them in a lovely little pouch for you. That's, that's, that's the amazing bit. That is the amazing bit. This is what you do. There you go. Stepped outside and she was walking by Usually zoned out but she caught my eye My eyes looking at them fights and then she looked surprised She said you're all the same, I replied I ain't surprised With them looks, mother do 180s like left hooks connected Like bodies in bed when the set's good, interested Yeah I see you are but what to do about this Put your name and number down in cup in different outfits In the hours flying through the day, forgot that part of it Receive a text from her asking me about some bars and shit locally From where she see me earlier I said See that you good there? Okay. Okay. Is it me, Josh? Right outside the church and that. Cheese. He's um, benching up. Outside. Outside. What many would call a church. Topic today. Mental health. My name's Cyril. Cyril, yeah? Also known as Cyril. Cheese. Less about me. Let's go on to the bench banter. That messed up. <laughs> Let's go on to the bench banter. That's it happens. Oh, it's, me. it's me, your boy Jay Levi out here. Another bench bringing you a bit more banter. Episode uh, five, season three, bench banter and that. You know what it is, I'm out here. Man like cereals. You know what it is. You are locked in to bench banter. <laughs> you have hey. that? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Bench man a day. <laughs> oh, they early. <are> day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Getting them photos developed. You know how it goes. As you do. As you do. What is that? Two on Japan? Yeah. And the theme of the episode is. To tackle mental health. Let's tackle it, man. Let's tackle it. Does that make me crazy? Are we all crazy out here? Are we all crazy out here, bro? <laughs> That's the <still laughs> question we need to answer. We're never gonna survive unless we're a little crazy, innit? Do you reckon? Do you believe in like, I don't know, man, what do they call it? Generational trauma, like things have been passed down to us that we kind of, I don't know how to explain it, man. Things that we carry from our parents. Do you know, I was thinking about the other day, bro, but let's just like human psyche, the human brain. Say like, we're parasites and we've just infected the human body, but we don't know that. Do you get what I mean? Maybe.
human beings would have just been like regular animals. But the parasite infected them with consciousness. Do you get what I mean? But what's that? Per- per- what is A that? parasite is us. The thoughts, our brain, the way we think. Maybe we're aliens and we've infected the human race. Could be. With these are things that we never know. This is what I'm we're saying, man. Living it. This is what I'm saying because we're living, living in it. it. We just we don't know what the reality is. Do you know what I mean, man? The, the brain is it's, it's too complex, man. It's an amazing thing. This is why when people say that they kind of like I don't know, man. Things that affect people's brains, like bipolar. Yeah. Uh, um, what's the one that affects old people? Dementia. Dementia. It's like what's happening? Is it the brain or is it the soul that's being affected? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. From a like this dementia standpoint, it's crazy because if you like, let's say you're talking mm. to the person that's got dementia, they've they're, they're confident in what they believe, you know, like their reality. Do you mm. know what I'm saying? Like even if you or everyone around knows that that's not the case, they're confident in that thought. And even if you try and convince them, you lose the battle. Yeah. You know because they've convi- they're convinced. Convinced. Yeah. What, what's convincing what them? Is they, you know what I'm yeah. saying? She, once the brain goes, it's all gone, isn't it? It's all gone. Imagine, like, to, like I was thinking about it. Yeah, like, imagine you're sitting, like, the fact that I'm moving my fingers, mm. I, and I've told myself, oh, cool. like, my, I've consciously told myself, move my fingers. Yeah. But as I'm talking, I'm moving my fingers, and I'm not even thinking about it as yeah. it's happening. Shows how ingenious the brain, the brain is. is, isn't it? You know, it's just. So when when we go to, back to mental health, yeah, it's like, mm. it's. Sometimes I feel like the brain, I wouldn't say it can play tricks on us. Yeah. But it. There's it's, realms of it. Yeah, but it's the same way, like realms. Like t- it's the same way. It's like mad how like taking drugs can affect your, like your brain and your perception of things. Do you know what I mean? Like. Do these things really affect the brain or is it like, I don't know, man, is it doing something deeper? Do you get what I mean? Taking out the bins and that. <laughs> There's a bin. There's like two bins, dude. You're terrible. Well, the bins all the way over there. One right behind you as well. For fuck's sake, silly. Isn't it? The earth. Think about oh, that's saving the earth, isn't it? Well, I mean, one little thing at a time, isn't there it? There you go. Remember me, God, for that. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, you know what it is. Out here in the countryside again. Got to check in on my people. See this ladder <laughs> UK again. International babes. Back. Paris, Milan, Barcelona. <laughs> Literally everywhere. She's back, you know how it goes. But yeah, topic episode. What are we talking about? Mental health, man. I just want to talk about mental health because I feel like, especially in the, I don't know, man. Especially in the UK, when it comes to mental health, it, do you feel like it's the same things people say they're struggling with? Is either anxiety, yeah. depression, or what's the, there's something some else, sort of disorder? Some, do you call, would you call them disorders? Yeah, I mean that's what that's the technical term, isn't it? So that's what you for a disorder. Call it, yeah. But don't you feel like everyone can feel a little bit depressed? Everyone can feel a little bit anxious. I don't think. I think, especially in London, I don't think you can live your life without feeling some sort of anxiety or mm. depression or like low so, state of mind. Do you know what I mean? So does that mean we're all we're all struggling with mental health issues? Hundred. Really? I think I think every single person on planet Earth has dealt with mental some health issues mental health issue in their life for real yeah because everyone's dealt with like some sort of trauma or some sort of like something bad mm, in their past mm, you know mm, what i mean mm. like it, it's impossible for you to go through life without someday being like oh do you know what i'm really down today or mm, do you know mm, mm. yeah so do, but does that class as mental health though like yeah you, ha- you have mental health issues or are you just a normal person yeah do you know what i think yeah people that have mental health issues are normal people mm. i think it's a normal thing to not 
feel like a hundred percent every single day. Mm-hmm. Like you can't be. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just <laughs> don't real think crazy it's people possible. Hundred percent every day. Yeah. <laughs> It's the ones that tell you, yeah, I'm always good and all that. Those are the ones that you, you need to be looking out for, like mm. looking at and thinking, mm. you're not all right, mate. Like there's something, <laughs> something's not right here. Would you ever, would you ever, would you ever section anyone that, that you care about? Like what would it take for you to like section them? Probably murder. Really? So that's it? Level 10? Yeah, it has to be murder. Murder. You didn't just call police on them or you just sectioned them? Like if you call section, you're calling police on them basically if they've murdered someone. Like, what do you mean? How, how close? Like, what? what Bro, the like, person's so, a hazard now. Yeah, you but someone like, someone close to you, they're, they're like behaving in a way that's like <laughs> sectionable. <laughs> would you, what would they, that behaviour need to be in order for you to consider sectioning? Yeah, and the point of when they murder. Really? Because I f- actually think there's always a. Y- but there were not- signs before that, and you allowed yeah, it to get to murder. Yeah, and the, exactly. But then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, why am I saying exactly? Yeah, because exactly. I should have been able to nip it in the public. Exactly, but you did it. You allowed yeah, it to risky, keep going, risky, on, risky, and now someone has died because of it. Yeah, but you're saying what is the. <laughs> yeah, for you, so that would be. That's what you're saying, it'd have to be murder. Yeah, it would have to be murder. Because then at that point, because. We as human beings are compelled at the fact that we can try and fix something, you know? mm. and it's really, especially for someone that you you care about, you care about, you try your most to understand what's mm. happening and try and nourish the like that person yeah. in any means possible, like any. Look, Sometimes look, it's listen, some things you can't come back from, though, man. Listen, look at Jean Slater on EastEnders. Jean Slater. <laughs> No disrespect to Jean, obviously I know she's a yeah, character and a fictional character, but you know. We love her. Yeah. You know, hum- that's how human- humans are. So there are sometimes, you know, obviously it depends on the responsibilities and your collateral, what you have going on in your life. And but I swear this way, I swear this show Stacey, Stacey was sectioned Jean. She sectioned her. <laughs> But she's not still on set. She's on set, but she sectioned her. She did it. I remember. Yeah, but I've, I'm thinking proper like lock. You're gone. Uh. Yeah, I'm not thinking of. <laughs> yeah, that type of sectioning is not happening because when you go into that type of sectioning kind of you thing, you're not coming back. Yeah, yeah. When you you, you don't come back. Mm. No, obviously, you know, in disrespect to the institution. I don't know what you guys do, and st- you know, but I, I generally do think. Like you see the antidepressant things because yeah. that's what they tend to give in the Yeah, to get people on meds, isn't that it? Stuff is ecstasy, you know. Mm. Yeah, stuff is ecstasy. Oh, is it? Yeah, bro, it's to try and get you happy. It's, uh, it's all in the field of that. Ecstasy mm. falls in the category of all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so it's it, there's it's a short term solution. It's just the same, the different different dealers. It's, <laughs> it's just. Actually, the hidden skull. <laughs> Like everything's great, love my life. So, what, what do you think? What do you think's like? Because I feel like it's been on the rise, like in recent years, man. I like, mean, lockdown definitely didn't help. You think? Yeah, and I think social media as well. <sighs> social media's causing. Yeah, and like you know, like all these like 
self-help gurus and all of that on like, on like Instagram and that t- telling you, oh yeah, you've got ADHD or you've got this, you've got yeah, that. Apparently and everyone's like, everyone's got ADHD yeah, all of a sudden, like, like yeah, they did some. Pretty much everyone's got yeah some test online or ADHD or something. Yeah, mm. yeah. So do you think it's that easily diagnosable though? No. So why do they feel like it is? I mean, most women don't get diagnosed with like ADHD until they're like adults. Mm. Like it can go, go like on. Mm. Undiagnosed for so long. Mm. What's it called? A attention deficit something hyper disorder. Yeah, something like that. I should know. I mean, I've basically got it. So. <laughs> <laughs> I just always say ADHD. So I don't have yeah, 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 yeah. And what? So what? You're diagnosed. Yeah, but well, my therapist has told me that I have ADHD. It's not been actually mm. been said by like a doctor. Yeah. But, yeah. I've been considering therapy, you know. I just I don't know if I got the guts to do it. I think everyone should get therapy. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't I know, think you man. Should do it. Really, hundred percent. You know, it is. It's I think the it's the best thing I ever did. I think it's hard for black men to even consider doing therapy, man. Yeah, but why is that? Why do you think that is? There's a certain stigma on black men that like, I don't know, man. Black men must be strong. Yeah, man. Legit, and legit. And well, it's don't not. Do you think it's powerful to like admit that you need help? Nah, man. Especially, I, I don't know, man. I, I, powerful. I, mean, I know so. Yeah. Do you know it is because you're supposed to see it as like you're you're like indestructible. Anything that comes your way, you can kind of just face it head on. Yeah, but and then we just, just deal with the bullshit afterwards. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. To, so just, it's like, like brush your sh- if we admit that we have to go and talk to someone about it, it's like admitting a weakness. In it just you, means you know that I mean? you're admitting that you need someone to talk to. Like, do you need someone to like? Yeah, but who can we talk to that's going to relate? A professional. Well, not relate. They don't have to relate, but they can understand, you know. They can, like, help you through it. Mm. The section, and I think it's... The, the thing with it is, because it's been so stigmatised, even if someone does get institutionalised and comes out, everyone thinks, yeah, this person's... Fucked. Mm. So the even if they're all it, right yeah. and having a laugh with you, in your no, head you're thinking, thinking mm, something could trigger them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'd rather not. Do you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah. The world that we're living in right now is not helping. Yeah. I think it's finance is killing us. This is what I'm saying. It, it's finance. sad that it all stem it comes down to money at the end of it as finance well, though, man. Us. And I don't mean finance is, is the means of what's in your pocket, mm. but most most sort of the finance is the excess is accessibility. <laughs> of getting things you don't fucking need you know the financing the financing that's what's fucking killing us and we don't realise it this easy way of paying for things is fucking us it's up fucking because we can up, consume bro. too much yeah. things we don't need and don't then realize when we realise we don't going, need it yeah. then we get upset and you, you look around you you realise oh he's doing she's doing yeah. you know well my do. it's killing yeah. us it's killing us but I guess we Whereas, just you know bro I remember them times I snapchat Mm. You know, and I'd scroll all the way to what people are doing in Africa. And, you know, I actually used to do that mm. and see what people are do, like, obsession with Ghana, innit? Mm. What people are doing in Ghana, mm. and everyone's smiling. And I don't, I know, every, obviously. So, what, do you think it's a Western society thing that's like this mental health? Listen, thing? I think they're probably it's going more, for it in. Everywhere. I, know, I know they're probably going for it more everywhere in their own. Probably, listen, our experience of mental health will be so completely different to someone in Ghana's mental health. Mm. A, Ghan, a Ghanaian's mental health might be accessibility to certain things mm. you know why don't we have internet why can't we why can't we be more liberal why can't you know what I'm saying mm, mm, whereas mm. our one is we have too much that we don't know what mm. you know and it's driving us insane yeah, making us closed off yeah. make, you know making us less united and yeah. commune with each other yeah. you know and that's what's killing us because human beings are meant to talk with each other but we're in competition yeah. and it's, it's killing us because it's all about who has what and who has what, what I can do. have yeah you know? and I guess yeah that's just turning us crazy it's man ten, constantly it's, it's looking it's at each other yeah, I guess man. we just need to stay in our own lanes man stay just it. run there's the no traffic there's, there's no, no traffic, traffic stay man. In lane. shit overtaking traffic move back ain't no, there ain't no problem checking <laughs> you know your mean? mirrors you know checking your mirrors sliding to the right let, let me creep forward a little for the rest of us let us keep going man there's no problem with it if you need to slow it down listen I ain't saying you can't Step aside, let the players get through. <laughs> let the players get through, man. There ain't nothing wrong with it. Shit. You have to be brave to wear that. Nah, <laughs> you'd never wear that. Even I would I mean... You'd never wear that, man. Where are you wearing that to? It's a rise, isn't it? 
Yeah, you're not wearing that one. Hey, Matrix thing. Jeez. In summertime in the London and that. <laughs> See this international beers. Always when I'm not ready. Always international beers and that from Mars from Barca to London. Jeez. The bagel pilgrimage. You know what I mean? If you know, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. Can't go brick lane and not get a big. But do you feel like people that aren't a bit, I don't know, man, who's, I don't know how to word it, but like people who don't, See, so don't feel they don't feel so <laughs> if I this in it, but I don't have to wear it in it. But like people who aren't all there, Kill them. they get away with a bit. Like even th oh, these like things that are coming. Do you see my my man Hugh Edwards complaining about his mental health? Yeah, depression. And now suddenly we're not chatting about it no more. Not on the news no more. You know, he's gone away with it. Scott Free. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, Scott Free, bro. How, wait, how was the? Was it? It was a guy, innit? it? Yeah, man. What's this? Yeah, let me not. That's what let I'm saying. Not. There's something a bit weird up in there, man. Is it a mental health thing or is it just weird behaviour? Like, are we letting it? Are we letting things slide because of the mental health stigma? I think, I think there needs to be a bit more accessibility for men to please themselves. Not like that. <laughs> like you know how Netherlands has their system. Oh, okay, like, yeah. They've. No, but so you're, say just say, you're just saying there needs to be an avenue for men to explore their deviant behaviour. Exactly. <laughs> and it's as simple as that. Now, when a man goes beyond that realm, then that person needs, he, he needs oh, to be, okay. you know, because then you've set boundaries, mm. you know. Mm. Okay. Because if you decriminalise this, let's say... Mm. No, but a lot of the stuff they're doing, like, even if it was, it's, it's a crime regardless. Like, there's, okay, there's going to a brothel and sleep with yeah, prostitutes. And yeah, then right, there's fiddling right, with kids. And, you know what I mean? They're still doing that they're thing. They're still doing it, man. Mm -hmm. There's a difference between, like, wanting to get your rocks off and doing weird shit. Do you know what I mean? was like I did like a eight week course with my therapist mm. and then like I extended it even because like I I really got on with the with the girl that was my therapist or whatever mm. and um, like the first two two weeks I I was so stush I was just like no nah, I don't want to talk about anything mm -hmm. like I'm just like I'm just gonna give her the like bare very bare minimum of like what's wrong with me yeah and then after a while like you realize they're not just, judging yeah. you they're not they're literally here to help you and to stop you from like well yeah. in some cases stop you from doing something stupid or stop you from thinking in the same way that you've been thinking for so long or whatever do you know mm -hmm. what I mean mm -hmm. Like it is helpful, and you. To be honest, like I got had such a good bond with my therapist. Like I think about her all the time now. Like oh, I'm real, like, yeah. See? Like it's it, it does impact you in like such a positive way. If like if a guy was like to me, oh yeah, like I've, I've I'm doing therapy, I'd be more inclined to like carry on dating a person that's that's doing therapy. That's doing therapy or doing like I don't know, working out or like. So if you was dating a guy and you're getting to know him on the first date, and he's like, oh yeah, I'm just in um therapy for my um 
severe depression, mm. you wouldn't be looking at me thinking, oh, I'm going to stay no, away No, because I go through the same thing. So I what, severe what depression to you? Yeah. I swear down. I've told you this, yeah. <laughs> oh, severely yeah, the, depressed, yes. The severe way. Yeah, like you're the first person that I've spoken to, like that I've seen in like how many days now okay like that like it's it, yeah, but you ain't telling me to come check you in like that man. i didn't know you was no because i don't like to put my problems on other people in it like that's mm. another thing and mm. that's another reason why i think therapy is so important or, or having or at least having someone that you can be really real with mm. because like there's times like when you're when you do suffer with depression there's th- times where you just don't leave your room for like a week mm. or your house or whatever do you know what i mean like you won't speak to your friends for like months mm, mm, do you know what mm, i mean mm. i think there's a root like cause to it do you think it's childhood trauma or is it trauma, like oh a... yeah it's not just childhood trauma it can be anything it can be like ptsd like you could could have gone through something like at your big age and, and it affects you like mm, mm, for, mm. for the rest of your life or whatever do you know what i mean mm. no definitely i think it's a, like it's a pro- your it's a it's about like the environment you you're in as well Mm. like for example for me like so i'm back and forth you know this like between france and london international babes yeah literally (laughs) (laughs) out here um like when i'm in france like i feel a lot calmer Mm, because in London. like the quality of life is better it's like it's so do you think it's the rat area. race of London that's kind of Fully, contributing like, to it like when we went out the other day and I kept mm. saying oh fuck like London yeah, is scary yeah, and all this yeah, shit yeah. it actually does feel like that yeah yeah no, like I it's mad it, like when you're when you come out of it for so long and then you get back into it it's just it's a lot yes it's I can a imagine lot. still living bro i'm swear i'm swear like babylon is falling bro babylon is fucking falling man it's, it's crazy man do you know what it is law 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 you realize that the, once the, you know the, the law, law yeah the law can be bent yeah it can be literally bent yeah you know you can malleable malleable oh. man said malleable <laughs> So let me tell you a story about a boy and me, but I don't want you to judge him. See, he was living in dense cities held only by a backflow of repressed ammo and gentrified escrow. Immigrated aunties thrown in droves made waves through Heathrow. Man, he was fighting battles he would never know. Empty stomach filled with stolen notes, got his compass eroded, moral comatose. This life is rigged. And them seeds that he sold wasn't ever getting him up the ghetto, so he banged the F out of it and deets the bins out of it. What you know about buying Indomie from the same Western Union man in clutch with the like a sim guarantee? I mean, I said I didn't want you to judge him. What would you have done? You know, my man stayed. Good chat, good chat. Ah, oh, obviously it's a bit light-hearted, but no, mental health isn't anything to joke about at the end of the day. But if you're going through something, I don't know, man. Talk to someone. Do you know what I mean? Talk to someone. Problem solved. Oh yeah. <laughs> nah, no, but yeah, that was us. Obviously, you now it goes like now. I'm gonna pass you over to the legend that is Cereals to leave us off with our parting message. Right guys, in these times that we're living in, understand it's complex, things are challenging. Don't worry, we got this. We dust ourselves off, we pick ourselves up, we crack on. Crack on. We'll leave you with this, right? The reality, shit. (laughs) The bridge between reality and (laughs) <laughs> Fuck me What was it Don't worry I got it for you guys 
the bridge between reality and what was it? <laughs> you asking me? <laughs> you asking me? Oh, three times. I got. I got to say it for the third time, right? <laughs> the bridge between reality and the dream is work. Told you I get it. <laughs> Live free, baby. <laughs> the memory's not a point this season, bro. <laughs> Stepped outside and she was walking by Usually zoned out but she caught my eye My eyes looking at them fights and then she looked surprised She said you're all the same, I replied I ain't surprised With them looks, mama do 180s like left hooks connected Like bodies in bed when the set's good, interested Yeah I see you are but what to do about this Put your name and number down in cup in different outfits In the hours flying through